In this video, we will look at how you can connect the Nearpod app to your class team. All right, so first we're going to do this in the browser, and this is the most important step. You do not want to do this in the Teams desktop app because if you do, you will not be able to sign in with your Microsoft account. So you want to launch your web browser. You can use Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Then you're going to want to go to office.com where you can sign in to Office 365. Once here in Office 365, we're going to go to the Teams app. And once Teams loads, we are going to go to the navigation bar at the far left. And we're going to click on the More menu here, the ellipses. And we will search for Nearpod, where it says Find an App. Okay, there's Nearpod. I'll select it there. Next, I will click Add to a Team. And here I have the ability to search for a specific team that I have created. You will also see a list of some of your commonly accessed teams below, but you can also search by keyword here. So here is my science class. I can go ahead and search that and then click on it. All right, and then I'm going to click set up a tab. All right, the next screen is going to give me the opportunity to sign in to Nearpod. Now, I'm already, I've already gone through this process, so I'm already signed in. But what you will see is a login screen, and you'll see the option to log in with Microsoft Office 365. So that's what you'll want to click, and then you'll be signed in and everything will be ready to go. So in this case, I can go ahead and close out of this. You can see now I'm in Science Dvorak, and up at the top here, where my tabs are, you uh, can also add the Nearpod app directly to your tab at the top. So I'm going to click on Tab, I'm going to click on Nearpod, and I will select it there. Same screen once again. Here now, I can specify a specific lesson that I would like to provide for my students. And so I can actually uh, navigate into my lessons. Maybe I want something on digital citizenship here. So I'll go ahead and select this lesson. And when I mouse over it, I get two options. I can either start it as a live presentation live participation that I do synchronously with the students, or I can do student self-paced where they do it asynchronously. I'll go ahead and choose student self-paced. All right, I have an opportunity to rename the lesson. And, uh, but in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as is. And I'll go ahead and leave this box checked so it posts to the channel about this new tab, and I will click Save. So now we can see that at the top of our team, we have the Nearpod lesson as a tab. It will load right here in the browser, and students, you'll want to direct them to click Login with Office 365, and that is now available to the students. All right, and that is how you connect Nearpod to your class team.